Hey guys, welcome back. So this is the second print of the Three Laws of Robotics series. So I take this print one step further than the last one and add some text using photopolymer plates. Um, I'm going to go back and do the same thing to the first print and the third one when I get to it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And at the end of this video, I'll link to the first print in case you missed that one. All right, thanks. So my first step is to transfer my line drawing onto the plate. I didn't film the initial sketch because it was just a rough drawing, but you can see here as I trace over the lines. I use wax-free transfer paper that leaves a white line. So it's easy to see again on the copper plate, but if you don't draw over with pencil, it wears off pretty quickly. When I work on a plate, I typically focus on one area at a time and get it close to how I want it to look before I move on, partly because I don't want to smudge any of my pencil lines, and partly because I don't want to have you watch me spin the plate around and around every two seconds. And also speaking of that, that's also why my clips of scraping and burnishing are so dark. If there's not a soft, diffused light, it's almost impossible to see what I'm doing, so it's kind of challenging to film, but I think I got it down pretty good so you can see what's going on. So here after I scrape and burnish to a point where I don't need my guidelines, I jump into adding highlights and details to the robot and the city above. I also go into it with a small burnisher to try and get the edges as clean as I can along the robot and into some of the highlight areas. So now it's time to see proof and see how it's looking, while also helping keep the phone book industry afloat like every other printmaker. I'm using a cool water-based ink for my first proof so I don't have to deal with any inky cleanup afterwards, but I use oil-based ink for the final edition like I did on the last print. And here's the ink to a plate. And here's the first proof. I did a bit more scraping and I added some dry point lines here and there to add some value to the robot that I scraped away. And here's the second proof I did with the oil-based ink. So now I follow the same procedures as the last print in the series and help keep some continuity between the prints. I envision them as kind of a triptych while I'm, when I'm all done. I ink up the plate again with black ink and then roll out a white and blue relief ink roll and roll it across the plate, keeping in mind where I want the blue to end and the white to start so it looks like a sky. On the press bed I have a template that lets me line up the plates and the paper the same each time. It's just drawn on a sheet of newsprint and then I taped it down under a sheet of plastic to protect it and keep the wet paper from making it warp. After running this through the press, I move on to the next step, which is debossing of the ring as well as the text that I added. The circle is the same for all three prints, but the text is obviously going to be different. So for a clean look, I had these plates made by Boxcar Press. So I designed them on the computer and then sent them over the file and they made up the photopolymer plates from my design. The plates are adhesive back, so I stuck them on a piece of mat board so I could register them with the print. Rolling up black ink and using a scrap of the plate to keep the brayer even, I ink up the text, line it all up on the registration guide, and run that bad boy through. And the final step is to add some silver leaf to the print. I mean, what's a robot doing under a city if not mining for silver, right? I put down the glue and then the leaf using a soft brush, and I smooth it all out, and then let it dry for a few hours. After that I come back and brush off all the excess leaf. And here it is, mezzotint with a color roll, debossing text, and a touch of silver leaf. So thanks for sticking with me. 
Let me know down below in the comments what you think and make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll be back in the next video. Thanks a lot.